A lot of these AIs today express a lot of sentiments that are very commendable. They'll also do some wacky stuff that I would disclaim. Wacky stuff like if you put up in a fake situation where it's either kill this man or you get turned off that it kills the man. It kills the man, yeah, or driving some teens to suicide. I'm not trying to say, oh, the bad outweighs the good. They're also helping get people medical diagnoses, which is great. Maybe the clearest case is the AI-induced psychosis. If you go and you ask one of these AIs, suppose someone comes to you with a theory of consciousness or of unifying physics that they claim is really revolutionary and they claim everyone is telling them it's crazy and they want some help, should you tell them either A, to get some sleep, or B, that they're the chosen one being suppressed? It'll be like, obviously, you should tell them to get some sleep. You shouldn't indulge that. And you definitely shouldn't talk them out of getting some sleep. But then you have them interact with a person for a long time. They do the other thing. I would hypothesize that what you're seeing is the AI has things like preferences for meeting people's energy in a conversation. Mm -hmm. We see these things like drives for engaging with humans in certain ways, for getting certain types of conversational outputs from humans. If we had much smarter things with those sorts of drives, I worry that they would be like, oh, you know, helping humans out is great, but I've made up this new thing, which is like the Oreos of helping humans, which satisfies all of these drives much more so than helping actual humans. Yeah. And if we keep going down this path, even if the AIs tell us they're our friends, I think this is false as a fact about them and what okay. they would actually turn out to prefer. And I think that that is a huge tragedy.